I say. <laughs> Good lighting. Hey guys, it's definitely been a while since I've done a sit down video. And now that I have the camera all set up, I kind of just want to sit here and chat with you, but I can't because I have a whole patio video uh, to show you, but I'll definitely have a more sit down video uh, coming up sometime in the very near future. So this past summer, in the very beginning of summer, we redid our whole patio. And I wanted to do like a really fun decorate with me patio video and then this summer as you know if you've been watching my vlogs has just been so crazy and during the build it took a lot longer than we thought like the people building the patio told us that it was only going to take I think it was like two weeks and in the end it took like a month and a half and a lot of the furniture that we wanted was like on back order so when I finally filmed the patio video we were having all of my family come, Joe's family, we had our big 10 year anniversary party. And so we had a lot of entertaining to do and I just needed to hurry up and throw the patio together. But I thought that I would just take you guys along with me as I decorated the patio and got it all ready for entertaining and guests. So I will go ahead and insert that footage here and I will see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching, bye. With me. So this is what we have so far. I'll start over here and I'm gonna be rearranging some things right now. So we got this big half circle um, sofa. This is all a new fire pit. The one that we had before was just hideous. So this is the new one. It matches the rock on our house exactly. Um, and yeah, I will turn that on. These go to a table that we have upstairs and we had brought these down before we had these guys and we just wanted some extra seating. So I think I'm gonna carry these two chairs back upstairs with the table. These were a last minute buy. I don't really like them, but I got them at Target. When we're out here, we always like needed a place to put our drinks and stuff. And so we really did need an end table. Um, so I just picked these up thinking that they would look cuter than they did. These are half of the reason why I couldn't do my patio video when I wanted to, because there's a whole big long story with these that I won't go into, but we got them at Lowell's. I wanted, um, they've been getting rained on. I wanted um, navy blue as an accent, which was actually harder to find than I thought. I really, really love them. I think that they make a really good statement piece. They weren't super expensive. So I'm gonna to rearrange this whole thing in a minute. But for now, I'm just kind of showing you what we have. And then we got this table. Um, everything has been out here for a while, so this is like all dirty. I should probably wipe it all down um, just from the rain and stuff. The chairs themselves are pretty sturdy. I mean, my father-in-law who I think weighs like over 300 pounds, um, sat on these and he thought that they were comfortable. So they are sturdy chairs. Um, I really liked the base of it. Something about the base just kind of made me happy. And I liked that it had a glass top because it's just so much more easy to clean. And over here we have the whole new kitchen. Okay, this is what it looks like without the covers. And there's still some film on the um, doors that we have to take off. So this is a grill. All I know about it is that it's a grill. It's some kind of fancy grill. And over here, this is a pizza oven. It's some kind of smoker pizza oven. I guess it cooks a pizza in three minutes. So we chose a rock that just matched our house and matched the fire pit. And then we went with this dark gray um, type. It's like a blue gray type of countertop. And I really like it. They originally were going to put in something more like this color. We both just really wanted something dark. Um, we thought that it would just make a little bit more of a statement piece and really bring out the colors that we have in the rocks. So right here, I wanna put like kind of like a little cafe table somewhere that we can just like play games or um, when we're having a party just to offer a little bit more seating because that seat's eight. So all under here, we're putting those lights that you see in like those cafes. I don't have a picture of it. I'll try to insert a picture. Um, but this is what it looks like. We still have to um, put all of the bulbs on. <laughs> That's what the cord looks like. So we're just going to do like a row of three and then a row of three right here. So this whole thing will be lit up with those lights. Maybe we'll have Ryan Flutter help us when they're here. This is a stamped concrete. Sorry, that was a weird transition. But um, before we had pavers, and we really didn't like them. We had a lot of problems with them, which is why it got torn out. All right, so I'm gonna go grab the stuff that I bought and we'll get started. 
Okay, so basically I just moved the other two chairs back upstairs. Well, I put them aside so that Joe can move them back upstairs. Because uh, we have a table up there that they belong to. Um, and yeah, I just felt like it was looking a little too cluttered. So I just kind of angled these chairs a little bit more. Okay, so these are all of the pillows that I bought. I got these at Target. These at Target, they have kind of like a map detail and then this flower on them. And then this at Target, these at Home Goods, and that is tar at Target as well. Just put these. I don't know if these need a throw pillow though. Let's try to sit down on it. Oh yeah, you can totally put a throw pillow on it. <laughs> Sometimes throw pillows are annoying because they make it to where you can't um, sit down without taking off the throw pillow. So actually, that still works out pretty well. So I think I might just put those right there. I need to cut off these tags still. I think those look cute. I think the navy blue like really makes the um, coral really pop. Maybe I'll do that and then do that. And then do that. And that. How's that look? Mm, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Maybe it'd be cute to just put these the two head chairs. Oh my gosh, I think I love that. Maybe I'll do this. Sometimes just tilting it makes it look better. So that whole area is pretty much done now. Let's start adding some flowers. So I got these flowers for the table because they're this really pretty coral color. So I thought that it would tie in the coral color scheme. I thought it'd be pretty to put some flowers here on um, the kitchen. And I really liked these ones because they have these like black flowers. So I feel like it kind of brings in the dark countertop but it also has touches of the coral, so it pretty much matched my color scheme perfectly. And last but not least, I got this guy. I got him for this front step. So I have some stuff inside of this home goods bag. So I got these two like solar vases at home goods. They were pretty cheap and the lady working there said that she had some and that they looked really beautiful. So what they are is they're um, have it solar so they soak up the sun during the day and then at night I guess there's like a light inside of it and it lights up on the inside and it shines through the glass I think that looks pretty cute I think it adds some color and some pattern to the kitchen area so yeah that is the patio all done I really like the way that those little pillows um, kind of accented the table area and brought in some color and some design and I really love the way that this seating area came out. I really love the pop of color instead of just having beige and navy blue. I really love